Okay. What is the appropriate color of my Mercedes-Benz hardware? So we're going to talk about some Mercedes hardware plating today. This is for the restorer, the person who wants to have a car that looks really nice. I hope a lot of people watching my channel or shooting for the stars and wanting to make their car as nice as it can be. I mean, this is a channel for the serious Mercedes collector, enthusiast, restorer, not somebody who's, I mean, sure, you can watch this channel if you're trying to just keep your 300D going, but this is really a channel for people who want to improve their cars and make their cars the best they can be. So what we have is we have a yellow zinc plated bracket. This is actually the fuel injection line holder from a 280SL or similar. This is a throttle in bracket and as you can see it's like a silvery color. And then this is some old hardware. This is actually off of the 220S that we're doing a bunch of work on. So this is pre-plated. And obviously this item has been sandblasted. So the problem here is that this item, this throttle bracket, is sandblasted. And what a lot of people do is they're like, oh, I'm going to sandblast and get the rust off. But in six months or so, it's just going to rust again. And then it's going to look like garbage. You don't want that. So what you have to do is you have to pr provide a protective finish for the metal. So what we do is we have our, our, um, our uh, parts yellow zinc plated so that they can retain their finish and their integrity so that bolts will unscrew and so that the bracket will look nice and won't just turn to rusty metal in like three or four years. And the way that this process works is the metal has to be cleaned, it's got to be acid dipped, and then it's got to be plated in silver zinc. The yellow zinc or the degree of silver zinc or yellow or whatever is just a dye. And in some cases in this 220S componentry, some of it is supposed to be silver zinc and some of it is supposed to be yellow zinc depending on where it goes in the engine. So we're going to try to determine that. But a lot of it is going to be this color rather than this like bright gold color. This is a little excessive. And the reason that when you have a Mercedes from the 60s and early 70s, you want a color similar to this, is because it closely mimics the cadmium plating that was used on the 19, uh, 1950s and 60s Mercedes. Um, and actually, what was originally put on those bolts was cadmium, which not a lot of places do cadmium plating because it's dangerous and it's highly toxic or whatever. But Silver and yellow zinc are pretty close. I'm not saying they're an exact substitute. So if you want everything to look really nice, if you have a Mercedes from the 1960s and early 70s, you can do cadmium if you want to be 100% authentic, or yellow zinc if you want to be, um, you know, as as you know as close as you can get, and still get the same sort of durability out of the metal. Now, starting in the mid 70s. I think it was like 71 or something like that, 72. Mercedes themselves purportedly switched to yellow zinc. My friend Aaron Householder has mentioned that yellow zinc plating was the norm on, on cars from the 80s and, and the 70s. But it used to be a more, it actually was real yellow zinc. It wasn't a dye that was copycat which looks like cadmium plating, protects almost as well or as well as cadmium plating, but is not cadmium plating. So, you know, a lot of companies like Eastwood sell a copycat kit or Caswell, they sell a copycat kit, which isn't bad, you know, but I, I do encourage you to do your own plating to try to make your car look as authentic as possible. Anyway, um, here's some things that are not plating. It is not plating when you or your restorer spray paint your part in gold. Now, sometimes this has to be done. You can't zinc plate an electric solenoid, an aneroid compensator, any device that has a hydraulic element inside usually does not plate well. You can't plate aluminum. You have to anodize it. And you certainly cannot plate... Um, uh, it, well, it's really hard to plate like a rubber hose in when there's a rubber hose attached to it, although I've seen some people do it. 
What I encourage in, in that case is to get like a professional hose crimper and coline crimps and, and to plate your ends first. But yellow spray paint is not the same as plating. It does not have an ionic bond with the metal, whereas this stuff does. It fills in all the blank spaces at about one or two electron, one or two atoms, and forms a protective coating all over the metal. So that's why we like plating, because it's a real chemical adhesion process. Anyway, if you have any other questions about plating, you can always email me. I like it. You know, I think that a uh, guy from uh, Israel with his 280CE had emailed me about plating. But um, in the meantime, please keep improving your Mercedes. You don't have to take everything apart and plate it. You know, in fact, in an original car, I would say, I really would only do plating work if I'm doing a restoration on like an engine or engine bay or whatever. On a nice original car, it's better to leave everything intact. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below and tap the bell for notifications. And if you're supporting us on Patreon, we appreciate it because this is the kind of information that you're not going to get anywhere else. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Mercedes. We'll talk soon and wait for the next video.